Here. Here. Once we do, we want to have some mixed up. I don't have one. Someone's over there. Someone's got some mixed up. Thank you. Before I knew you were going to sit next to me. I mean, I did because I was like, ain't nobody here. So. <laughs> Today I am going to Wick and Pour with my friend Heron. We are going to make some candles. Um, if you're not familiar, it is a literally like a two hour um, time slot that you choose and you get to like create your own candles and drink wine and like, why not? So we're going to do that today. I'm excited. You know, sit back, relax and enjoy. But <laughs> before we go any further, make sure you are subscribed, liking this video, commenting below. If you've ever made candles or if your city has something similar to this, comment below. Let me know, like, what scents did you use? Like, all that jazz, okay? Make sure your post notifications are turned on so you get to know anytime I drop a video. And make sure you're subscribed because we're what? Besties. We're friends. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, so this first wall has some scents. You'll choose um, which scent you want. You can mix and match scents, and that's what your candle will smell like. This middle table has at the bottom what the candle will look like. The top is the color, so you'll choose, if you want it to be like a bright yellow, you'll choose obviously more of the color, and then, or less, if you want it to be soft. The other side has more scents, so I think this side was more of a earthy, musky side, and then the right side was more of a floral side. And then over here, there are like some, it's some merch over here. Um, there's wine. So the wine options that we had, there was a red, a white, and a rosé. Also, to do that, it's like a bottomless thing. So $20 gets you as many glasses of wine and mocktails as you want. You can choose your vessel. So this is what the candle is going to live in. And yeah. And then over here, you have your flower wall. You want to take your cute flicks, you know, for the Instagram, social media. Super cute. Such a vibe. Felt so good. And then, you know, you just got to go ahead and sign your life away. <laughs> There is a way for that you do sign, you read through it, you know, make sure you're cool with it before you go any further. So enjoy y'all. And then drop in a little more to make it darker. After you have the color, you have the oil, and it's after another 45 seconds. Just make it better now, because you don't want to make a scene. Cause it's also, it's like, it's like musky, but honey. Yeah. Honey mustard, not regular mustard. <laughs> it smells like, like honey, honey mustard. mustard. <laughs> I'll take honey mustard with regular mustard, though. Yeah, whatever, look, it's the experience. It's <laughs> And even if you don't, it, like, it's you burn it, and you're like, food it's not for me. Aesthetics. Right. That's right. Cause I don't plan on burning mine. Mine's the core in my room. Okay. I'm gonna burn mine once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, yeah. Now they said do what? Wait. <laughs> he said he gonna give us the oil, oil, or something. Yeah. So in this part of the video, I am taking the wick and I am placing it inside of the vessel. I didn't quite get it as centered as I would have liked, but it wasn't horrible. It just was not straight. <laughs> I mean, it's not much. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's me no, asking. I don't think it's that bad. No, I feel like it's, it's not bad though. It's a little crickety, but it's gonna do what needs to be done. <laughs> so the scent I chose was Bonfire. It's definitely like a earthy, musky, woodsy scent. That is my vibe. That's my jam. That's what I like. Like a cedar wood. Yeah. Let me rewind again. Clearly it's set up. I do have to So next you're gonna see me taking a vessel and placing it on the scale. And then I'm going to, once I get this scale to like a balanced level, I take the scent and I think I poured like one ounce um, of the scent in there just to measure it out, make sure we good, and yeah. Next, we measure out the wax, because um, there's a certain amount of wax that you're supposed to have. So we're weighing all this um, stuff, and yeah. I can't remember the specs for everything, but 
just to give y'all an idea of what we're doing. That's all. Oh, no. You gotta do the color and then the order. Check out who's not listening. <laughs> Y'all, so one thing about me, mm, I do not read directions. I don't be listening. I just move off of vibes. <laughs> so I got a little confused. But the things I'm sprinkling in, that's the color. So if you remember from the table earlier, it was a table and it had all the different colors. I chose the caramel. So that's what I'm sprinkling in. And then later on, you'll see me take my flashlight because I wanted to see if I wanted to add a little color or keep it where it was. So I did add a little bit more. So go ahead, uh, pour everything in, well, almost everything. You want to leave half an inch from the very top. So I didn't get it, but um, the instructor did come around and ask everyone if they wanted to add glitter. So you may see a little shiny stuff in there. I added some gold glitter to my candle right before it decided to dry. And then also there's some dried flour that I added, but they told us to be careful. So like if you do plan on burning your candle, do not add as much uh, flour because it is flammable and it will catch on fire. <laughs> okay. And now we're gonna snip it. I hope y'all know we friends now. Yep, that's it. We are. I'm glad something said it. And this candle is called. <laughs> the name is Buenos Noches. <laughs> 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 Can't see a candle. Not lying. <laughs> Can I see your candle? So I think that is gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's like, it's it's difficult. <laughs> okay. It is what it is. Now everybody can be as clean as you. Gentle romance. Oh, that's cute. Mm. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> 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 Forgot what you put on the car. I'm afraid. What do you think? I'm afraid for him to read my mind. It was fine. No kidding. It was great. And we made new friends. We did. That's Brianna. That's Bree. Don't look at it. And that's Shy. Shy here. Hey. hey. <laughs> Oh, 
These are my new friends. Oh. These are my cousins. Hey, cousin. Hey, cousin. Hey, I'm the old friend. Cousin Bree. <laughs> the old friend, cousin, yes. We had such a good time. We did. Like, <laughs> so that is my final product, my little uh, Canzo, my period <laughs> candle. I literally had a blast. So I do want to say thank you to the team at Wicked Pour. I will definitely be coming back, um, especially if I just have like a group of people. Um, they said they do events, so like birthday parties, baby showers, any type of event, girls' night, male night, any night, friend night. Um, I would definitely be back. Uh, they were just super kind, super accommodating. Um, it was such a good time and I didn't feel like rushed or anything like that. It just felt two hours was the perfect amount of time. The bottomless was cool. We did. I feel like I got a little silly at points because because <laughs> the wine just kept coming, but it was so good. Um, yeah, so definitely if you are in New York City area, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share this video, turn on the post notifications and be well. Bye.